Totally awesome, but when I got to the breakdown, my head was melting. Just so awesome. One of my favorite tracks so far, if not my favorite. We will see. Hey guys, this is Andre. I'm a music producer from Florida. Florida man. And today I'm going to be reacting to BTS and their album B. It's going to be a full album reaction. So make sure you punch the like button until it turns blue or black. Let me know what other reactions or reviews you want me to do. And I'll be sure to check them out. So the first track of the album is Life Goes On. This track starts off with some awesome percussive mouth sounds. It reminded me of Timbaland, which is a music producer that has been one of the top music producers in the past 20 years, really. And he did a lot of beatboxing, really famous songs with Justin Timberlake and many other artists. That style of mouth percussive sounds is very akin to him. So I really enjoy that in this song. There's also some retro elements like acoustic guitars as well as some new elements, but in a retro vibe. For example, they put a vocal sample in this song, and typically in a song like this, you don't listen to many vocal samples, but they made it fit with the retro style of the rest of the track. So because of that, it has almost EDM influences with some retro pop influences as well from 15 and 20 years ago. Now the song itself sounds sentimental yet hopeful which is also what the lyrics talk about. So it's a very nice blend of the two. If you examine the lyrics, the lyrics say exactly what the song sounds like. So that's pretty cool. Now off to the next song, Fly To My Room. This song's title reminds me of Fly Me To The Moon. So I almost said Fly Me To The Moon, which is a Frank Sinatra or just an old song. Fly me to the moon. The chord progression of the song is really nice. It actually keeps the energy flowing throughout the whole song. There's also a lyric that says, Killing me slowly. It's killing me slowly now. And there's a famous song from way back then that is called Killing Me Softly. Killing me softly with his song. Make sure you listen to that song, Killing Me Softly. It's a really good song. But that lyric just reminds me that this album has that stamp of retro and just that stamp of classic attached to it. In this song, I love the RB vibe. The drums are dry, meaning they don't have many effects, but they sound big. When you contrast that with the vocals that have a lot of effects on them, it kind of creates this nice harmony between the two in which one is big and punchy and clear, and the other one has a lot of space and air to it. So it fills out the spectrum nicely. In the middle of the song, there is a trap beat that comes in, which actually doesn't sound bad, even though the rest of the track isn't really like that. It actually blends in nicely. So it's just something that kind of sparks your ear and says, oh, this is a new section, but it doesn't sound out of place. In the end of the song, there are some choir style vocals. With everyone singing, it sounds like a big choir. I love that. This might be one of my favorite tracks of the whole album. Now next we have Blue and Gray. This is a song that almost everyone recommended that I listen to. Make sure you listen to it as well. When I first listened to the song, I was actually surprised at how many people enjoyed it, given that it's so soft and slow. But here are some elements about it that stood out to me. There are some very beautiful guitars. When you listen to the guitars, they're absolutely beautiful. RM's rap is very powerful. It actually adds so much energy, even though it's a slow song. There are some vocal samples thrown in the song as well. This is something that you don't really hear in many slow songs and ballads of today. You don't hear many vocal samples, which they used and implemented that. It's kind of their unique style into the song. They implement vocal samples in almost every song. The emotion in the music is very drawing. When you listen to it, you can almost tell what they're feeling. And when you read the lyrics, it also matches up perfectly well with what the song sounds like sonically. The next track is the skit or the interlude. So I'm not really gonna have much to say about that. <laughs> the next track on the album is Telepathy. When I listened to this song, the very first thing I heard was that 80s synth pad intro. That hooked me right in. As soon as I listened to that, I was like, I'm gonna love this song. When the filtered bass line came in, it was just building. And I could tell this was gonna be a great song. Once the beat kicked in, 
I immediately knew that this song was deeply inspired by Calvin Harris. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, but I really think that this song was inspired by Calvin Harris. If you listen to Calvin Harris's album, Funk Wave Bounces, he was able to mix a lot of these elements and come up with this banger of an album, which it kind of sounds like just modernized funk. It's really, really good. This track sounds very, very much like it. The percussion, like the cowbell, the filtered off bass line, and then the big bass line that is pretty much the same thing, but it's just so funky. Along with the use of autotune as an effect, <laughs> just really adds so much energy to the song throughout the whole thing. That bass line with the first three, dum -dum -dum -dum, that kind of thing is so funky, it always works, and it's very funk and danceable, and just modern too. I absolutely love this song. The next song is Disease. I love J-Hope's rapping voice. So far, this is actually my favorite start to a track. It's very funky with the funky guitars, and if you watch my videos, you know I love funky guitars. Ah, I love that. I love funky guitar. It's my favorite. I love funky guitar. I'm just going to listen to that. But they didn't keep it too funky. They added other elements like 90s style rapping. They totally made it their own with their own style. It sounds very unique with some combinations of sounds I hadn't really ever heard before. Totally awesome. But when I got to the breakdown, my head was melting. That chord progression, those embellishments, those chromaticisms. Just so awesome. One of my favorite tracks so far, if not my favorite. We will see. Those DJ scratches on the vocals. And then the second breakdown has a trap part, which is very BTS. Then there is a humongous chorus and a really funky outro. Amazingly crafted song for sure. The next song is Stay. Stay definitely has the most pop intro to this album. Beginning with the verse, there's a lot of sidechain compression going on and EDM style sounds. Definitely the most EDM heavily influenced track on this album. The chorus sounds like a DJ or EDM producer produced this track. It's a total EDM dance tune. It has some guitars, but the guitars are infused with that EDM style. However, they did add a trap beat to the song, which is a very BTS thing to do. It adds more variety and really brings the track home. Now the very last song is Dynamite. Obviously I'd heard the song before because I've reacted to it. This is my favorite one of their songs. No doubt. No doubt. So I know this is my favorite song. So let's see how they do this because this is my favorite of their songs. This is Dynamite, I'm pretty sure. And I love this song, so I'm excited already. If you want to see those videos, click here and here. The bass sound in this track is always going to kill me in the best way possible. As soon as the verse starts, the bass starts with it. And it really keeps going almost throughout the entire track. It just adds so much funkiness to this song. Like I said, it goes through almost the entire thing without ever getting boring. There are heavy Michael Jackson influences. Jackson 5 Prince influences. A lot of big clap tracks. Everything is so well crafted to be a dance song with real instruments. The song builds with its harmonies, horn sections, a playful bass track, funky guitars, and some keyboards. In the last chorus, there's a big key change, which definitely keeps things entertaining. Though the transition to a different key is not particularly my favorite, this song is definitely my favorite track of this album, for sure. So much so that I covered it. Talk to talk, moving on like we off the wall. Stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the bell to be sure that you don't miss this next cover. Now, the honorable mention to be my favorites are definitely Telepathy and Disease. This was a great album, though. A lot of retro sounds, a lot of new sounds combined with retro sounds. I absolutely loved listening to it. Make sure you punch the like button until it turns black or blue. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay golden, everyone.
Ah.